I'm Shogato Shadukhan, Assistant Professor at Bharati Vidyapet Institute of Environment, Education and Research. Here we are at Moirashar Wildlife Sanctuary near Baramati. So here students are doing different kinds of vegetation sampling. So these students, this particular group are doing uh, line transect vegetation sampling. So they measure the tree height and tea, uh, the girth of the tree and uh, the species uh, what are present in those line transects. We are at Moirashar Wildlife Sanctuary and here we are doing a mapping through drones. So which drone you are seeing around you is the mostly the nano drone. You can see it is in the wedding photography, you can see in the city photography. But here we have a bigger drone than this which is called micro drone. Uh, this is the idea forge. Uh, ninja drone. Uh, this has a fixed payload in it. You can see the payload. Uh, it uh, takes very uh, fine scale images which can be used for mapping purpose and it gets very fine scale mapping than you we get in through satellites. And uh, this can be used for DEM study, uh, cityscape study and uh, studying the building, studying the tree, tree canopy and tree tribe and we mostly use those drones to educate our students and introduce them to the modern technologies. As you see, these drones are not only useful for teaching them, they can also use them for their master's dissertation. So as you see, one of our students is using this drone to map our institute and as well as studying the vegetation in the campus. This can help in the special fine scale spatial mapping of the of an area of the buildings of the vegetations which can't be achieved through the satellite imaging. Good evening, I am Akanksha AK, currently studying in Bharti Vidya Peet Institute of Environment, Education and Research. Today I am here with my batchmates from EVST. And we are here to perform the practicals for vegetation sampling, uh, which has been taught under the field techniques class uh, handled by Mr. Shogata sir. So uh, under vegetation sampling, we performed uh, three types of methods, that is the line transect method, bell transect method, and quadrat sampling. Some of the flora that we have observed were obviously the acacia species, and also the wild uh, jujube uh, trees and uh, there are a few neem trees around as well and some of the fauna that we have observed uh, were the horses and obviously the chinkara and uh, some of the birds included uh, plenty of bee eaters, drongos, swallows and additionally we also observed two three species of dragonflies and damselflies as well.
हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ जुनेद सलीम सैयद फ्रॉम भारतीय विद्यापीठ एनवायरमेंट साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट सो टुडे वी हैव केम हियर टू मयूरेश्वर वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी एंड वी वर गाइडेड बाय डॉक्टर प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर शोगत सर सो लाइक वी केम हियर टू स्टडी द वेजिटेशन एंड वी यूज मेनी अदर मेनी अदर मेथड्स लाइक द कॉर्डेंट मेथड द बेल्ट कॉर्डेंट मेथड एंड द लाइन मेथड so we also saw that there were many kind of species many different kind of leaves and uh, uh, while studying this uh, while studying this vegetation and we also saw the many kind of bird species also like we found the uh, dove and the like you can see behind this and babla nest and also uh, this mayureshwar wildlife sanctuary is for the chinkara and uh, we also saw many chinkaras over here like from they their time period is like from i guess from 4 pm so early morning it was really difficult to uh, difficult for us to saw them and uh, maybe uh, many other things like we also heard the howling of the wolves and uh, this was really a great experience for us and um, you can say there were many others and there were many trees uh, we can see over here mainly the bubble trees and acacia and really uh, understood the things over here why they were managed in such a way the uh, line of grazing thing and many other things so this was really a great experience